Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good how are you? Evening. Good evening, nice teacher. to see you again. Okay, so welcome to this new section for today. And we are going to study about our class for today. And just let me share my screen with you. Uh, first, uh, we have a little review. What do you remember from yesterday, guys? It used the will and will. Will and will. Will and, and the will. contraction, too. And the contraction too. Okay, uh, in this uh, time we, 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 uh -huh. we, yes. uh, we talk about uh, with about about how to order. How to order? What kind of, uh, what kind of food to order? So, what kind of food do you want to order? Excellent. Yes. And also, all the things that we have to, for example. Uh, we, we have the desiree to order, and but we don't know, so be exactly what is it. So, uh, let's start in this night with the, the um, with the model verse, and we are going to uh, it's a minute. okay. We are going to have a review about this video, so it's from the other things that we already studied from yesterday. But you have just listened that video, okay? So we have to reproduce twice, and then we have to uh, make a discussion. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, no, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on would and will. Try to understand how they are being used. Okay, try to take notes because after that we have are going to do uh, some examples. Uh, it maybe if you forget something, but if you have to everything clear, it's okay. You don't need to take notes, but I recommend to do that. The main idea, if you uh, are as soon as possible, you can take notes, okay? Because this is the last time that we have to uh, reproduce the video, okay? After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? 
I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I'd like apple pie. Make your request to someone, especially when you're not Okay, guys, so this is very important, so as you know, because, for example, <clears throat> just says, uh, we can use would daily at the beginning of the equation. So, directly, directamente, directly, at the beginning of the equation, of the equation. Would plus, this is subject, plus lie, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. For example, y tenemos el example. Would, ya lo tenemos. What is the subject in that sentence? What is it, guys? You. You, excellent. And then we have lie. Yeah, like. And then we have the, the infinity. 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 What is the infinity in the equation? To drink. To drink. And the complement. T. And the last one is the question mark. Yeah. Okay? Question mark. Muy bien. So, T. Okay. Would you like to drink tea? Right? Excellent. Muy bien. So let's continue watching. But remember, and then you have to read a question. According to the teacher asking for you, you have to structure some question using wood, okay? Using wood. Okay, let's uh, continue. <clears throat> Familiar with. We can use wood directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, WH question, or we can use would directly at the beginning of the question. 
word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus word plus subject plus Okay, what is this one? Because this is another structure. Yes? Now you got it? Because it says WH equation. What is a WH equation? ¿Cuál es son las WH equation? What is it, guys? ¿Cuáles son esos ejemplos de WH equation? What? What, how, uh, where. Why? Why. Excellent. Ooh. Who, very good. Okay, W equation plus wool plus S. Plus, I mean, S does the subject. Plus like plus infinity verb plus complement plus question mark. Okay, for example, <clears throat> what WH? Well, continue with? With? ¿Con qué continuamos? We continue with? With guys, hello, I'm talking to you. What with, would you like? Uh huh. Plus wood. Aquí está wood. W H plus wood. Now, what do I need? What do I need? ¿Qué necesito? What do I need? Dice la fórmula que necesito. Like. What would you like? Like. Luego, what do I need? In it, 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 no, uh -huh, yes, but this is the, this is the infinity bear. What is infinity bear? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el infinity bear? What is infinity bear in this one? I don't decide infinity bear in this question. To it, excellent for dessert. For dessert, yes, to it. For dessert, so and finally you get the equation mark. So remember, guys, every single that things that you have to focus, uh, every single things that maybe you have to understand. So because in the previous, so you says, would you? Do you remember that? So because we are, we are searching with would you, but now you have to read that with wh. That is different. Well, now I'm going to do, I'm going to do every single question with WH. So that's me that is not is the same because one of them is wool, but the all of them is, I mean, with WH. So if you're paying attention to that, all the context and you can say, ah, yes. Now I get the idea because not always. So we are, we are going to do the same questions, but just because, ah, just I have to redact some question using wool because just we study wool. Yes, I know, but in this case, so we are going to study. So wool plus WH, that is another kind of question because nor is the same guys. So uh, one thing is that I'm, I'm asked uh, something with wool, but another thing is that I'm going to ask using WH word. I don't know if would you what I mean. So you make sense about it? Yes, got it? Okay, thank you. Yes, got it. Yeah. Okay, so in this occasion, so we have to structure. If you if you notice, so the one is, I mean, short question because you start with will. No, we don't need to WH, but in this one, you have to need, so I'll, at the beginning, WH. So for that reason, I'm asking to you, at the beginning, so what is the what questions? Because what are all of that WH? Because this is the basic knowledge that you have to acquire and that you have to say, ah, yes, I know what are all the WH questions. That is what would, uh, uh, who, sorry, would, but it's uh, plus the first you have to ask, uh, wh that is what how who why so and you know all of the wh <coughs> sorry 
equations that you can imagine. So using, because in this case says WH. According to the grammar structure, you can learn this one because it's really important teacher, but it doesn't matter if I don't respect the grammar structure uh, because I want to say something, but imagine if you don't remember the grammar structure, it's gonna be easy to say something because you don't try to remind that what is the grammar structure. So yes, I know that it's, that it's easily to say something uh, without using the grammar structure, but remind you have to learn uh, speak in a good, uh, a structure in a good way the English. So because maybe, uh, yes, but how can you use this one? Okay, so you made a confused, or maybe you say, I oh, know, just because I say, uh, just a teacher to teach us using just wood at the beginning, so I don't have any idea how we can use WH. Okay, but in this case, WH, please take notes about this one because this is really important that you have to take note for this one. Why? Because with this one, you have to have to get the keys to continue studying. So because not it's like, oh, okay, yes, I can English because I can. No, not it's like this. Because you can, because you understand what that I'm saying. What do you understand about in every single class? So you say, ah, oh, yes, now I got it, teacher. Okay, Ever Francis, thank you for letting me know. Okay, so you say, ah, oh, okay, now I understand. So what is a W equation? So let's continue watching. It's like plus infinity verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using word to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. This is another important thing. So because yesterday we studied this one, but in a quickly way and not be specific to understanding how we can structure every single question. So the first that we have to learn is how to use a using wood and then a using WH. And now you have to learn how to answer a WH question using would you like. Yes. So what would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. I would like a soft drink. Excellent. Or uh, I I'd would like, like a chocolate. I would like a, like a coffee cup. Uh -huh, a coffee cup. I would like to... I would like uh, a Coca-Cola. It's going to kill me. I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. Coca-Cola glass. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Uh-huh. Excellent. Okay. So you have to... I mean, in this case, you have to... You, you say, or you are going to answer this question in the following way. I would like a, I would like a cup of coffee, coffee. I would like to a chocolate cup. I would like to a soda. I would like whatever thing, okay? I like a chaparro glass. A chaparro, a chaparro, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, muy bien. And also, uh, you say, so using contraction, but in this case, so in the first one, if you notice, notice contract, notice contractions, because you say, I will lie. So it's different when you say, I like to soft drink. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you notice what is the difference, because in my, in the pronunciation also, we are going to have a different way to say the things in, in I mean, in Maya, so what, because how can I explain? You have to say this one in a contract way, o sea, en forma contractada, but it's not the same when you say something in the long way. So in the large, I mean, in the long, because not as large as for another thing. So in the long way, so in the more normal way that you say or that you see, in this one, because for example, you say, okay, so I would like to, okay, so teacher, if it's possible, if I say I would like to drink, yes, it's correct, because you can use it the, the infinitive to, like the equation in this one. <laughs> okay, so for example, you say, I would like to drink soda. 
so because I would like to drink, I mean, to drink, and there is the infinity way, so there is the infinity verb, so because you say, I would like to drink a soda, okay, me gustaría tomar, yes, because this is another way that you can answer, and it is okay, so I would like a soft drink, or uh, in a using contraction way that you say, I would like a soft drink. So let's continue watching the video and then we have to stop again. So we have to, because in this night that I want to, I mean, keep in your mind. So what is the, the mean? Very, very, very understanding the context. Because if you understand the context, maybe you can understand. So why you have to say, oh, what do you want to do? Because after this video, you have to, I mean, read out some questions and you have to ask to all of your classmates. So please say notes about it because um, then you have to be feel lost because teacher, I don't understand. So, okay, so please, I'm gonna be clear with you. Try to take notes about it. A drink or I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of word in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Think on the question. At the restaurant and you are the waiter. Would plus like object. How to answer using would? Would in the answer? That's right. It goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like. Okay, what happened with this one? This is the, the way that you are going to answer when someone asks you, what would you like to drink? What would you like to eat? Okay, I would like to eat whatever, bean, whatever thing. Yeah, maybe beans. Yeah. I like to, to eat beans. Okay. With like tortilla. It. Tortilla. Okay. Yes, yeah, a delicious tortilla cheese. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, now you have to say this one and uh, you're going to do an exercise. Uh, exercise, just we have to end in the video and after that I'm going to say the instructions that we have to do. Like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, now I think that maybe it's a little bit correct because you say and you notice, so just in this one, for example, I like apple pies. I like, I <clears throat> maybe it's something like, maybe you don't notice that the, in the pronunciation sounds apostrophe D because it's like, I like, I I like apple pie. Yes. So maybe it's just, I mean, mm, considerable. Okay. Uh, also, I'd like coffee, right? Excellent. Well, let's I stop here and I'm going to pass the attendance list and play, please, when you listen your name, say present because if you, if you can see one of your classmates just said, not teacher. He's there. I guess now he is. Just give me one second. 
Mm-hmm. Remind, 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 remind. <clears throat> Adán Iglesias Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Arles, ¿será que está Arles aquí? Ahí está. Baudilio L. Gracias, gracias. Ahí está que estás un poco mal en la señal, pero thank you. Baudilio Lenizo Rivera Ramírez. Baudilio. ¿Está por ahí Baudilio? Si alguien me ayuda. Ahí está en la lista. Ok, gracias. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. ¿Carlos está o no está? ¿Carlos? Ahí está. Ahí ya tengo una comisión, cierro. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Ahí está, Carlos. <coughs> ok, thank you. Vaya, thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Toledo. Present teacher. Thank you, Moni. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present teacher. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Thank you. Erika. ¿Será que está Erika? Enrique Pérez Lemos. Este reportó que iba a entrar más tarde en el WhatsApp por una comisión. Bye. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Presidente, che. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero, ahí me puso. Thank you. Presidente, che. Franklin, thank you. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Present teacher, present. Ever Aristide Oya Ruiz. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Jose Benjamín Capitia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos, perdón, Juan Carlos. Portillo Arias. Presente, Juan, presente, teacher, presente. You. Juan Francisco Arrasabal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Presente, teacher. Yes, thank you. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening, thank you, honey. Mónica Ibet. Merino Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. I am here, present teacher. Excellent. Why? Tenemos a new student here. <laughs> Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Okay. okay. Excellent. Y Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. <clears throat> present teacher. Vaya, las únicas dos personas, thank you, las únicas dos personas que tienen en asistencia en Disney es Enrique Pérez Lemos, pero porque no está acá, aunque se haya reportado, no está en la clase, y Erika Beatriz, no sé si está Erika, no, ¿verdad? Vaya, solo ellos dos, son, entonces tengo como en asistencia, no puedo ponerles asistencia y voy a explicar esto, <coughs> no les puedo poner una asistencia, cuando tal vez ustedes, eh, pues, avisan que van a entrar tarde, pero si al momento de pasar la lista no están, si toca inasistencia. O sea, y lo, lo estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Porque yo quisiera ayudarle y decirle, mire, le voy a poner la asistencia aunque usted entre tarde. Yo no puedo hacer eso porque contamos de los minutos de conexión, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted sabe que están obligados, ¿verdad? A conectarse a su clase principio a fin. Y pues nosotros le brindamos todo el apoyo necesario, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes entran tarde, está bien porque tienen que hacer algo o, u otra cosa que sale muchas veces de imprevisto. Pero sí eh, decirles eso, ¿verdad? Que aunque me hayan reportado en el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher, eh, siempre se le va a poner la inasistencia si al momento que la teacher lo menciona, usted no está, 
<coughs> diferente a aquellas personas que a lo mejor están acá. Entonces me dicen, teacher, pero ahí está. Ok, y entiendo que ahí está, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando ya entiendo que ahí está, okay, yo digo, ok, está acá. Lo único que no pudo darme mayor, pues, eh, énfasis a lo mejor tiene algo. ¿verdad? Entonces acá tenemos eh, this kind of, of questions, right? Tenemos esto. Y usted lo que va a hacer right now es que usted va a estructurar, estructurar, ¿verdad? Five questions, o sea, five questions. Cinco preguntas utilizando would you like. Ok, would you like to drink? Usted le pone, would you like to eat? ¿Verdad? Tomar. ¿Verdad? Comer. Would you like to, ¿verdad? Travel, podría ser, te gustaría viajar. Y ponemos el país. Would you like to travel El Salvador? Right? Ok, muy bien. Entonces, usted va a hacer these uh, questions in the previous four minutes, en los cuatro minutitos que le voy a dar. Usted lo va a redactar. Le voy a dejar esto acá en pantalla porque usted tome idea de cómo lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la más sencilla. Con esto vamos a empezar, siendo lo más sencillo, ¿ok? Excellent. Go ahead and work, please. Remind, just remember, continue the grammar structure, right? This is all.
Okay, guys, the time is over. Okay. Now you can ask to someone else. Las que tenga, no se preocupe, teacher. I didn't finish, maybe you say, but don't worry. Okay, Edmundo, what about your questions? Yeah, okay. I have, I have my questions. Okay, share with us. Comparta con nosotros. In the chat, you uh, say the question. Yes. The question. Yes, in the chat. Uh, no, uh, read it. Uh, what would you like to to eat for dinner? Uh, yeah. What would you like to eat for dinner? Excellent. I would like to eat. Pupusa. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of dressing would you like? French. I would like French. to. I would like French. to. Yes. French. Uh, what kind of salad would you like? What kind of salad would you like? Mm, fresh. I would like to eat fresh salad. Fresh. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, what what kind of of, of drink or no what kind of beverage uh, would mm -hmm. you like to drink i would like to drink chocolate chocolate okay okay thank you would, would you would you like anything to anything else no i wouldn't okay okay thank you Ok, muy bien. Cuando ya no necesitamos nada más, ¿verdad? Podemos responder de Bure. O sea, it's okay. Muy bien. Uh, let's see. ¿Someone else? ¿Someone else? ¿Quién más tiene las preguntas? ¿José Benjamín? Ok. Alguien tiene microfonito encendido. Y no lo participa el bebé quizás. Sí, Tenemos a New Student, espérenme, no les escucho. ¿Cuántos profes tiene ahí camarones? Hay camarones, dice que igual sí, camarones. ¿Cuál es la idea? Camarones. ¿Cuál es la idea? Camarones, dice. Muy bien, sí, ayúdenme con los microfonitos que a veces se nos activan sin querer, ¿verdad? Pero nos crea interferencia en la clase. Ok, muy bien, go ahead. Ok, ¿cuál es la idea travel? Okay, what would you like to travel? Why do you like travel? Why do you like... No, 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 no. Again, again, again. Maybe what, what you... country... No, 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 no. Maybe okay. what country would you uh -huh. like to travel? What country? Or oh, si no, would you like to travel? ¿Te gustaría viajar? Would you like to travel? Solo usando wool, okay? Uh -huh. would, you would you like, like to, to travel? travel? Yes, uh, I would. Would you like would. to travel? Yes, would I would. Would you like to clean? Escalar, would you like to, uh -huh, to climb? Right. Would you like to study? Would you like to study? Uh, uh, would you like to eat? Would you like to eat? Okay, eso es teacher. Okay, excellent, muy bien. Y okay. podemos estructurarlas así, vea, te gustaría comer, te gustaría viajar, te gustaría tomar. Y ahí sí, cuando decimos te gustaría tomar, podemos decir... Eh, Coca-Cola o Chaparro, como decía Edmundo. Would you like to, would you like to drink Chaparro? Y usted dice, no, I would like to. Ok, no, ya, no me gustaría. Muy bien. Excellent, thank you. ¿Quién más? Someone else. Someone else que las haya terminado y que las tenga, o que tenga una, o que tenga dos, puede compartirlas con nosotros. Bueno, como ya hizo el ejercicio, nosotros ahora nos vamos a mover a lo que es nuestro libro. Y vamos aquí. ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde? A ver, just give me one second. ¿Dónde nosotros realmente, verdad, también tenemos eh, algo que es muy importante y tenemos también 
Ok, permítame. Ok. Muy bien. Let's see. Ok. Tomorrow. Permítame. Tomorrow we are going to focus on pronunciation back. Just give me one second. Okay. Now we are going to watch another video on you say and you are going to pay attention in ordering food. Remember ordering food. Okay. Hello everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, guys. If you notice, ahí, ¿verdad? In the conversation, in this one, for example. Blue cheese, please. And... Okay, if you pay attention... Ok, mire cómo, lo que sucede, como ya estudiamos contraction, acá contesta, ¿verdad? For example, yes, I'd like the, y luego, lamp of kebabs. Ok, muy bien, <coughs> sorry. Luego dice, yes, I will, ¿verdad? Que es la contracción de will, y dice, yes, I will have, ok, I'll have, have a mixed green salad. Green mix salad. Muy bien, excelente. Luego también dice, and would you like anything else? Yes, I'd like a large ice tea, please. Ok. Y así es como nosotros vamos, pues, teniendo el conocimiento, ¿verdad? Ustedes se recuerda que esto también lo vimos. Eh, ahora sí, vamos a regresar a nuestro libro. Y era lo que le mencionaba. La diferencia, ¿verdad? El would, el will, ¿verdad? Modal, modal verbs, would and will for request. Y acá yeah. tenemos. Ok. Good evening, good evening, present. Good evening. Muy bien, ya le pongo la asistencia. Just give me one second. Vea, ahorita se lo voy a poner para que no se me olvide. Ah, y ahí me estaban diciendo que usted estaba en una... En algo. No me recuerdo, pero saben algo. <ríe> ok. Yes. Ok. Muy bien. Lo vamos a actualizar. Estamos estudiando, bueno, ya más a fondo, ¿verdad? Porque ayer lo hicimos de manera rápida. El will y el would. Pero esta noche lo hemos explicado bastante bien, ¿verdad? Y nos hemos dado la tarea de ir así, miren, de ir a esto, esto, esto y esto, ¿verdad? Y creo que lo hemos dejado intacto. O sea, vamos despacio para saber cómo voy a estructurar una pregunta usando would, cómo voy a usar una pregunta usando WH. ¿Verdad? Entonces quiere decir que ahí estamos bien, ¿verdad? No hay en qué perderse, ¿verdad? No tenemos con qué, cómo perdernos porque pues tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Lo que es eh, prácticamente... ¿Verdad? Las WH. ¿Ok? WH. Y pues acá tenemos, miren lo que tenemos por acá. Y nos dice, listen to Rex and Hannah order in the restaurant and what did each of them order? <coughs> Phil, fill in their check. Ok, Pills dinner. Thank you and thorough. Ok, Pills dinner. ¿Qué usted cree que acá se tuvo que haber escrito? Uh 
este, vamos a ver, este, me refiero una, cuando el chef hace un, una hora de un pedido y, y a lo mejor pone el menú donde ofrece eh, papitas, hamburguesas, y dentro de otros detalles de acuerdo a las exigencias del cliente. Ok, excelente. También, ¿verdad? Lo que nosotros usamos, pues hasta la fecha, ¿verdad? Que tal vez ten tengamos que... Eh, nosotros estamos eh, ordering, right? Porque muchas veces... Uh, ok, Erika. Ok, Erika, ahorita le voy a poner entonces su asistencia. Just give me one second, guys. Deme un segundo para ubicar asistencia porque cuando ya vienen tardecito y se reportan es como que verdad hay que volver eh, tienen la asistencia pero también recuerden los minutos aunque estén ahí conectados <coughs> recuerden bastante eso eh, muy bien Muy bien, excelente. Vaya, voy a regresar entonces acá. ¿Y se mira? Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Gracias, Erika. Thank you to you. Ok. Entonces, dice, listen, Rex. ¿Sí están viendo? Sí. Ok, thank you. De, luego, pues, volvemos y dice, listen to Red and Hannah order in a restaurant. What do each of them order? In their chat. Ok, in their chat. Okay, so maybe the tutorial, so as you're saying, or describing the product, right? Describing the product. So listen and the rest of the circle on the two items that the waiter forgot to bring, okay? ¿Qué es lo que el mesero olvidó, verdad? Ofrecer o traer, perdón, traer. Entonces, mire todo lo que trae ella, pero olvidó más de algo. Muy bien, dice, create a menu of dishes offer at your very own restaurant to go to interchange 13. Ok, creo que no la tengo. Vamos a crear un menu, ok. Un menu. Usted sabe cuál es el menu, right? Lo vamos a crear por food, luego beverage, or drinks, and desserts, if you want. Ok, entonces ahorita usted va a crear un menu. Un pequeño menu. You can say, have the fried, fried, fried French. Um, also, you can say hamburgers, spaghetti, cheesecake. Okay, whatever, whatever uh, food that maybe you can say uh, or you can offer to your to your customers. Okay, so you have to, three minutes, tres minutos para que usted estructure un menú, menú. sencillo, sencillo, please. Okay, you can offer in your own restaurant. Ya les dije, in my restaurant I offer, for example, in food, I want to offer salad, hamburger, maybe pancakes, I mean, all of the food that you can uh Put on your menu and then the beverage and the last one dessert. If you can, if you can, you can include in the cost. Puede incluir los, el costo, if you want, si usted quiere. Okay, three minutes to do that. Three minutes.
Okay, guys, the time is over. Okay, who wants to say the Armenian? Okay, the Armenian? Thanks. Okay, the menu, you finished the menu? What do you have for offer to uh, in your own restaurant? Mm -hmm. I can. Yes. I can tissue. Yes, you can. Spaghetti with meatballs, steak, uh -huh. mm -hmm. fried fish, bacon, chicken, uh, hamburger, and a beverage, uh, uh, carrot juice, orange juice, soda, white, water, uh, cheesecake for, for dessert, dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, strawberry tart. Mm -hmm. Just that. Okay, just that. Excellent. Thank you. A ver, what another menu? Some Teacher. delicious. Some delicious. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Resta okay. Restaurant Lemus. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Lemus restaurants offer to you. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Hamburgers, $5. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, so expensive. Uh, drink refreshment. Uh, eh, maricada, five dollar, eh, drink, eh, refreshment. Okay. Eh, barbacoa, seven dollars. Barbecue. Dollar. Uh -huh. Seven dollars. Eh, with refreshment, horchata. Okay. Eh, pizza hat, five dollars. <laughs> eh, pupusas, eh, three pupusas, Two dollar with coffee. Okay, excellent. Muy bien. Thank you. Muy bien. Excellent. And cheap. Cheap, cheap, right? <laughs> y barato, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Excellent. Teacher, uh, the three B. Sería la, la 3B, bueno, bonito y barato. Ah, de 3B, bueno, bonito y barato. Ok, muy bien. Ah, bueno, está, está, barato, está barato el mundo. Gonna be en más o menos, ¿verdad? Tres pupusas por dos dólares. Tres pupusas por dos dólares, demasiado caras. Son a tres por un dólar, dice. Son expensive. Muy bien, son expensive. No tiene que bajarle Enrique, si no no va a vender. Muy bien, bueno. Entonces, hemos visto acá cómo hemos interactuado con cada uno de estos y también estábamos con este, ¿verdad? Que este era como el reading y necesito aquí que I need some volunteers to read this one. Top tip or not top tip. ¿Quién me ayuda? Who wants to read? Me. Ok. Thank you, Edmundo. Edmundo, please read the, this one. The, 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 the first paragraph. Uh -huh. But also this one, this including this this paragraph that is on the box red. red. Oh, yes. And yeah. the, okay. S -sc scan the article. How much should you tip someone in the United States? Mm -hmm. Who carries your suitcase at the hotel? Park your car, uh, serve you in the fast food restaurants. Yes? Okay. Okay. Excellent. And also, the word tips come from. Ahí, también ese. <laughs> continue, continue, Edmundo. Hasta aquí. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Uh, the word tips come from the old English slang word that means to give. To give is both a, a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants. Apples, corals, and hair salons. Okay, thank you. Uh, continue, Enrique. The second okay. paragraph. El segundo. Okay, okay. People who put in this play, place, uh, places, or, in this or place, get, often. Place, or get paid long, long, where, where is teaching? A tip shop that the customer in place with the service. Okay, thank you. Something, okay. sometimes. Okay, continue, continue. So, sometimes it is hard to not help many 
hot mash to tip. The size in the tip usually depend on the service. People should share a parking parking ballet and they belong. Yes, usually jet smart smaller tip. The the tip for people share in the taxi driver the white is why is white dresses. Como pronuncia eso, dice white dresses. Okay. In the, in the usually ladies, uh, okay. here are tip. Give the lay for tipping in the United States. Okay, thank you. Como pronuncia la palabra, dice. Okay, which one? ¿Cuál? Whiters. White es para la que sigue. Whiters, whiters. Whiters, whiter o whiteresses. Whiteresses. Thank you, teacher. White You're welcome. Okay. Whiteress. It's useful. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Uh, María, lea acá, María. Todo lo que está en letras azules, rojas. Hasta aquí. Y todo lo que sigue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I por casi no veo. Por Ven, the... Se lo voy a acercar, se lo voy a acercar. Vamos a lo más grande. <laughs> Bien, vale, <laughs> los ya los tengo, dígale. Thank you, teacher. I por porters or hotel. Bellhops. Bellhops. Casi no veo. One salir. or two. One dollars. or two or dollars. Dollars. Bolas. For a uh -huh, dollar for carrying for carrying suitcase, fix it. Suitcase, parking, parking park, ballets, ballets. One uh, dollar, dollars, parking, for parking, parking, a car. Or, car, or car. Okay. For the door, uh -huh. attendance, one dollar or two, or two dollar. Uh -huh, for getting a taxi, for getting a taxi. <gasps> Hotel, med medis, and one car to... Taxi drivers? Ah, perdón, ajá, five, perdón. No, no, no. Five, Hotels, mails, ajá. One or five? One to five. Per night. Per night. Per night, por la noche. Per night, yes. Taxi drivers, uh, 15... Percent of bill. Percent of the bill. And uh, mer... Micro, como que dice, o oh, make, micro. Uh, I tell with you, bugs. I tell her, I tell her you with bug. Waited uh -huh. and waited. Uh -huh. um, 50, 50 to, to 20, 20 per percent of the ball. Bills, of the bills. Of the there bills. Is no there is no tipping. Typing in, in a fast a food. food. Fast food restaurants. Restaurant. Barber. Bars or hair sales. Hair sales. Hair sales. Hair sales. Five parents of the ball. Fifty percent of the ball, of the bill. Of the bill. When you are not, when you are not sure about now, must to tip. Do what feel nice. You don't have to tip for bad service, and you can get and you can give mm -hmm. a bigger tip for very good service. I remember touch you behavior. Your behavior. Behavior is more important uh, than you. Then your money always trade services pro okay, so providers provides provides provide, provide um, with rest provide provide providers providers with respect provide with rest provider with respect okay excellent thank you muy bien okay let's see Ahora sí, vamos a nuestro dice, 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 dice. Read the article and find the words and it leads or in the articles and then check the meaning 
for of each word. Okay, ¿cuáles son las que ven ustedes en Italy's? What does mean Italy's word? ¿Qué son Italy's word? ¿Qué vamos a qué? Ajá. El mundo tiene micrófono apagado y creo que está hablando. <laughs> Uh, the little uh, way pleases the penal behavior, uh -huh, threat, uh -huh, and respect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Excellent. Muy bien. Okay, so that is. Uh -huh. Okay, pero. ¿Qué de acá? Regular pay for job. Uh -huh. Tips receive for a job. Happy sar of certify. Annoying of border. Be the same as or change according to. Y luego tenemos también acá las otras verdad que ya los leía el mundo. Y también decimos a way of acting, ¿verdad? A way of feeling. Ignore. And say act toward courtesy rudeness. Rudeness. Ok. Entonces aquí es como que una de, de cuáles voy a, a chequear. Creo que no lo vamos a lograr terminar. No, ya no, ya estamos on time. Espérenme, quiero ver. Bueno, lo vamos a dar aquí y mañana lo vamos a tratar de resolver. Ok, vaya. Ok, guys. What did you learn from today? ¿Qué aprendieron sobre el día de ahora? This night? Sobre el día teacher muchas cosas porque me pasó esto. No, about the English class. What do you learn about in English class? Uh, the use of the more ver the more ver uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the using the wh plus wood. Yeah. Plus wood. Uh -huh. How to order. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Excellent. Buen. Yes, yeah, Sonica, fue la lluvia. Ni la sentí. Ay, alguien se le activó el microfonito. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, quedamos hasta acá, chicos. And also, have you know, we have to use how to uh, read that question, ¿verdad? Que fue lo que hemos estado tocando. Y bien, please don't forget to work on your platform. Por favor, por favor. Ok, bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Take care. Have a beautiful night. Good night, teacher.